Although excited about the new coaching experience with the PNG national women's side, incumbent head coach Spencer Pryor sees a lot of potential in the PNG girls, most of them are raw and naturally talented. Pryor was in Port Mosby early this week to meet the PNG FA executive that also gave him an opportunity to watch a friendly match between the gold and black teams comprising players from the current national squad preparing for the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 in New Zealand in February. Before his departure to Sydney, Coach Pryor took note and left a number of recommendations with the PNG FA on how he wants the team to look like and specific areas that need to be considered when selecting the final team to travel to Sydney to continue their lead-up preparations with more exposure to higher intensive training. What we saw is, you know, it's the same thing we spoke a lot about in Sydney, that we see players that will run for five minutes and then walk and the pace drops off, whereas we need to get it so the players run high speed meters for longer during the game. And, and that's going to be something we'll continue to focus on when we get into December. But there's some good players that obviously haven't ex had exposure yet, so just talking to the TD, finding out a bit of background about everybody and the girls that we'd like to bring in. So, yeah, get them, get them exposure to that. Coach Pryor said he's been pleased with what he saw and looking forward to seeing the girls travel to Sydney with the final score to be finalised this week. We're looking at something between 23 and 26 players to come over, so it's good numbers. And like I said in the press thing upstairs this morning, you take 26, ultimately we can only take 23 to the FIFA Championship, so it keeps it super competitive, there's no relaxing, it's not like this is the final squad. We're taking overs more than we need, so that we can start to see some competition internally as well. Terry Longwood. TV One Sports. Thanks for watching TV One News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.